This India's first solar observation mission is set to reach its final destination shortly. Now, India's maiden space-based solar observatory, Aditya L1, is completing its long journey closer to the sun and it checks in at its destination shortly. It's supposed to check in at about 4 p.m. Now, after a nearly 126-day journey, Aditya will be made to settle down in an orbit 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth at the L point from where it will have a continuous view of the sun. Now, I'm being joined by Pallav Bagla, senior journalist and science editor of NDTV, Dr. Amitabh Ghosh, NASA scientist, Professor Dipankar Banerjee, director Aries, who's also joining us. Thank you for joining us. Let me start with Pallav, sir. Uh, Pallav, sir, first, see, take us to the key objectives of Aditya L1. Why is it so important uh, that we get this key maneuver of placing it in the L1 orbit right? See, Aditya is India's maiden solar observatory and getting it to the right point from where it can have a continuous un uninterrupted view of the sun is very important because this is not just a scientific mission, it is also a mission which will help protect India's 50 plus satellites which cost over 50,000 crore rupees. So it is a double mission, one science and the other is a mission to protect India's satellites and today's maneuver is very tricky. India has never done this before and reaching the L1 point and staying there is not easy. Only a few missions have succeeded in doing that and ISRO is going to work hard because at 4 o'clock they will fire the engines on board the satellite to make sure it gets the right velocity and stays in that very uh, interesting halo orbit. And a lot more on the science can come from somebody who knows more, which is from Nainital and also our friend from NASA. Right, uh, Dr. Ghosh, in fact, talking about this particular uh, maneuver, we're also learning that if this is not done right, then Aditya L1 might move closer towards the sun. Uh, what can we expect to learn uh, about the sun's effect on space and Earth once this uh, uh, Aditya L1 is placed in the L1 orbit? So you mentioned that... Well, I think the odds of this not being successful are really low. It's not like Chandrayaan 3 mm. landing where, where it was very tense. So mm. I don't think um, anything will go wrong. Mm. And so, you know, we don't have to think of the other possibility. So, uh, okay. So one big thing is why, why is the sun so important? There are, I think, multiple missions from many countries and there were many missions in the past. Why is the sun so important? Um, and the reason is um, the sun is virtually the entire solar system. It's more than 99% of the mass of the solar system. We, um, everything that we consume on Earth, all the elements, everything was formed in a sun which existed in the place of our sun before. So nucleosynthesis is, the, is what produces iron, calcium, carbon, silicon, all the elements that we know. And if you think about it, we really don't know much about the sun because, you know, it's so huge and we, it's very hard to go near the sun. So, so as a result, um, we do have a lot of observations, but fundamentally what's happening, churning inside the sun, the um, 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 fluid dynamics of the sun, um, it, it's very, very difficult. And, you know, a lot of great work has been done and so so this mission will further the understanding of the sun as will other international missions um, and hopefully we will get a better understanding of the, how the sun works um, yes Absolutely. Uh, let's rope in uh, Professor Banerjee as well. Uh, thank you for joining us. Now, like uh, Dr. Ghosh was mentioning, understanding the sun uh, is, of course, very important. But talking about another aspect of this that's interesting, uh, you know, the fact that uh, this could help us prepare better for solar winds and perhaps, uh, you know, not only India, but other countries and help us move our satellites if it is in the way of that. Help us understand that and simplify it for us. Yeah, absolutely. As Professor Ghosh mentioned that the you know, sun is our nearest star, so it's important to understand, you know, the future of the sun and its radiation because our life is uh, primarily because of the presence of the sun at an appropriate distance away. But as you mentioned, there are also very, uh, you know, dynamic phenomena which happens in the sun in terms of uh, huge explosions in the sun. They're called solar storms. And those solar storms, when they travel through the interplanetary space, they can come towards Earth. 
And now, uh, you know, our near Earth environment is so much populated with all these satellites and other space assets. It's very important to, you know, uh, protect them. So to protect them, we need to really know when such storms are likely to happen. And if such storms happen, then whether they are coming towards Earth. So these understanding and the direct observations combined with the theoretical modeling allows us to do something called space predict uh, prediction, space weather prediction. So like, you know, your weather prediction, you need to uh, know when the tsunamis are likely to uh, happen and then mm -hmm. you can take, uh, you know, uh, uh, measures to control it. You cannot control the tsunami, but you can mitigate, uh, you know, uh, the effects of it. So likewise, so understanding the solar dynamic phenomena, which is happening in the solar atmosphere is very, very important in the modern day. Absolutely. Pallav sir, if you could take us through uh, the process of this maneuver of placing the Aditya L1 in the L1 point or the halo orbit. Okay. Yes. So, uh, so this particular L1 mission from ISRO, they are taking a slightly different, uh, you know, orbital uh, path. Uh, there is all po possibility that you can directly go towards uh, the Lagrange point, point. But as you know, we have launched through the PSLV. And then initially we have taken several Earth bound orbit. And then eventually after five orbits, we have uh, gone to the cruise phase. But when you are in the cruise phase now, as you reach closer to the L1, you have to slow down. Okay. If you even recall the Mangalayan mission, it was always important to, right. you know, slow down and get into the, uh, you know, uh, the, the gravity of the Mars. So here uh, it is important to be even slower because at L1, point there is no gravitating object so there is not that there is a planet or something which will uh, you know provide the gravity it is a very precise uh, you know uh, balance between the two forces the satellite and the earth and the satellite and the sun has to balance in such a way that right. the centripetal right. force which is required to orbit around the L1 has to ba balance right. so it's a very precise uh, measurement and maneuver is required to get into the right orbit otherwise you know you will Right. unnecessarily, you know, waste too much fuel. Right. Now, uh, Pallav, sir, now this observatory is one of a kind. Uh, but if you could take us through, you know, are there any challenges that we can expect? Now, Dr. Ghosh, of course, was saying that this seems to be uh, a sort of a simple maneuver uh, to be done. Uh, but in terms of uh, uh, in terms of science, you would know better. If you could take right. us through, you well, know, what the challenges are that we can expect. Well, nothing is simple in space mm. sciences and rocketry. Uh, there are many things which can go wrong. Right. There is a specific duration on which the rocket motors on board Aditya have to fire, and then the orbital dynamics have to be determined. And yes, uh, some of the parameters are going to be judged uh, using uh, different radars and uh, uh, dishes from NASA. and. And, and, and I would like to ask uh, Dr. Ghosh, uh, Dr. Ghosh, can you tell us uh, see, the best missions to the sun have been by NASA and you work closely with NASA. Uh, what has right. been the understanding from some of those missions, especially the uh, Solar Dynamic Observatory and the Parker Solar Probe? Some of the best uh, images have come out from there. So what more right. have we understood by these satellites? Right. So, so uh, as you mentioned, the Parker Solar um, Probe is um, really a fascinating spacecraft. Um, it is going to go as close as um, 3.9 million miles. Um, to give you a perspective, the Earth-Sun distance is about 91 to 93 million miles. And so it is going to go very close to the surface of the Sun and the temperature there would be perhaps like 2500 Fahrenheit and um, like which is like 1400 centigrade um, and this is hotter than many um, say probably the temperature for lava flow or maybe a little more than that so rocks will melt and um, and so the spacecraft will be kept is, is being kept it's, it's a mission in progress by um, carbon um, uh, carbon fibers, which is like, I think, four or five inches thick. So it's a very interesting experiment, and it's to to figure out the, uh, the, the uh, corona of the sun and why it is so hot and why is it hotter than the underlying photosphere. And um, 
so I think the mission is in progress and we're getting very interesting data. But right. you know, in the end, you're just still top, doing the top of the sun. If you understand, it is at the center of the sun where the nucleosynthesis, where carbon, sorry, hydrogen is being converted to helium. Um, and then there is a huge solar um, convection happening. Um, so right. that part, of course, is has to be modeled. But um, right. so it's a very fascinating field of study. The, the, Absolutely. Um, yes. Yes. Absolutely. We'll, of course, come back to this story as we move closer to when the maneuver will be conducted. Thank you, Pallav Bagla, uh, Dr. Amitabh Ghosh, and Professor Deepankar Banerjee for joining us and sharing your thoughts on this story.